like the Earth Force Destroyer? Well, join me today as I go through how to print this Earth Force Omega Destroyer. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video, as I said, we are printing this big monster. So this is an Omega Earth Force Destroyer. Um, this guy is just over two foot long after it's fully assembled. You can tell the seam lines are still there. I haven't finished this one. I did put it in gray primer, but this is an awesome looking model. And there's actually other improvements after I printed it. Newer models have been added uh, to make more detail to this out on Thingiverse. So we're going to talk about that when we go over to the computer, but this is just kind of a very unique model. Um, I never saw a model kit for this when I was growing up, or I would have loved to have got it because the Earth Force ships were always just kind of amazing. The Hyperion, uh, the Omega, the Nova, and it's always just kind of one of those things that this is a mobile base for the big old Star Fury um, fighters and all that stuff for Babylon 5, and this big old piece here would rotate on the ship, which is just really cool to give gravity. Um, you know, this model is really detailed, even just in the current configuration, especially the engine part is really detailed. I love the detail that was in the front of the model. <clears throat> um, mine doesn't spin, but just the detail that you see with the guns, the fighter bay, and everything. And there's, like I said, there's been updates to this to make this even look more detailed. So, we're going to hop over to the computer. We're going to get this file sliced, and we're going to get this over on our printer. It is several prints. Um, that we're going to go through, so it's going to take a little bit extra time to talk about all the parts. Um, now, I did most of the pieces you could print on a on a uh, Ender 3. Um, unfortunately, the big rotating sections did have to go on my CR10 uh, to fit the build plate, but you can shrink the model too, or use Mesh Mixer, which I have a video for, on how to make cuts to make these smaller pieces and glue them together. That way you can make the model even on an Ender 3 or smaller printer. So go check that video out if you're interested on how to do plain cuts or do selective cuts with uh, pins. That's a pretty awesome video. So before we hop over to the computer, let's do some business here real quick. If you like this channel and you're interested in what I'm throwing out there and how we're doing this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button, join the crew. I really do appreciate it. If you got questions about 3D printing or about these models or anything like that, leave me a comment down below. I'll definitely try to get back to you and help you out. So Babylon 5 is kind of one of those things but <clears throat> that I've enjoyed as, as growing up. Uh, heard a possibility of a reboot on the series. I don't know if that's true or not. But the other thing is I do ask if you guys can share uh, the videos and the channel, help us out, build this community bigger, stronger. I would really appreciate it. So let's hop over and let's get this print started. Okay guys, and here's the one that I printed um, by USMC 1701. It's out on Thingiverse. The link will of course be in the description of the video as long as, as also crediting USMC 1701. Um, so this is the file I print. It was really nice. A lot of the pieces are already pre-separated, but there is a, also a complete STL if you want to give that one a shot, but of course you won't be able to print it same size as mine. But before I go on talking about this model, we're going to back up one page. I'm going to show you this. This is a V2 that was created for the head and the neck. And you can see the just update in detail. So you guys might want to actually take a look. I may actually look at printing this model as well, just for the increased detail that's available in that model. Um, so if you guys want to see me print this one, leave me a comment down below and uh, we'll take a look at it. But this came out after the other one, um, like it said, it just came out in April. I think I printed this one right before that. So this one's kind of been on my shelf for a while. Um, and I'm just now getting to actually where I'm going to show it to you guys. So, um, but that's another one by bad haircut 55 that I may even take a look at, but this is the one that I printed on Thingiverse, And this is the one we're talking about today. So there's a lot of good different pieces. Um, it was not, a hard print. I think the hardest piece to print was actually this piece because there's just a lot of thin pieces that were very easily busted off and as you guys will see in my video are busted off um, that I've got to put back on. So and also I kind of had a little bit of struggle with the engine section here but I got through it but there's 18 different pieces so let's launch Cura. I got to start it from scratch because I haven't done this one um, and actually he even gives um, instructions on how to make the rotating section if you want to go ahead and make it rotate. Um, I did not do the rotation on mine, but 
the instructions are here in the description of the model if you do want to make it rotating. As you can see, I'm still using Kira 4.62. I plan on updating to 4.8 here before too long. Uh, it's just not on my roadmap. I'm on 4.62. It ain't broke. I ain't going to fix it. But let's talk about the model. So here's the complete model as we load that in. And it's probably going to be massive. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're going to grab that and we're going to shrink that down to... Oh shoot, 1% barely fits on the plate. Wow. So you can print this as a complete model if you choose. Now this is a CR10 build plate and it just barely at 1% size fits in my build plate. Now, if you try to do this, you notice there's a lot of different discoloring. There are errors in the model. Uh, you may want to take this over to the mesh mixer first and fix it, but we're going to cl clear our build plate and we're going to start adding on the pieces how I printed it. So here's some of the cannons. They're itty bitty. Engine coverings that you can print. The Omega head and face. The midsection of the head. the rear of the head, the back neck basically. There's a spoiler that you print on, put on top. Here's the main engine, part of the main engine assembly. Here's one with the cover. So you can see there's no cover here, but there's a cover right there. You can print the cover separately as well. There's one of the neck piece that goes on the back of the bridge. Uh, port rear main hull. Some more cannons. You're going to wind up printing a lot of the cannons. Um, here's some of the dorsal cannons. Rotating section. Oop, I'm overkilling. Now what's cool about what he did with this file too is you see the cannons. There's multiples from one file which is really nice. And there's a rotating section. Now I think I blew my model up a decent size here. And then you've got your other rear plate, rear pieces to make the neck out to the engine assembly. Let my computer kind of catch up here a little bit. We'll take a look at all this. So that's just a just of most of the pieces that you have to print. These two, of course, you put together in the center and all of that. Now I did print using multiple printers actually on this one. I did use an Ender 3 and I did use CR10s um, to print this at the scale that I printed it. I think I printed this I want to say I printed 250. Yeah, 250 percent looks about right for what I printed. So you can scale it up big time if you so choose. But if you scale it, you may have to use mesh mixer if you're using the Ender 3 to cut this in half and print it on the on the other printer. So you guys have your options here. I used Inland PLA Plus. Um, I think I did most of this in gray, but I did have some white piece white PLA I used. Infill I did very low. Uh, here it says 20%. I think I did 10% all the way around to save on filament. Uh, with inland I print around 215 and a bed plate temperature of 60. Um, make sure you have your retraction enabled um, and your Z-hop so you don't knock multiple parts if you print multiple pieces in one part. I think I printed a lot of the parts separate. Um, but I did some in groups together. Support, honestly, with a lot of these, you don't need a lot of support. So this model was pretty good. Now, if you're printing like the little guns, I do recommend a raft or these cowlings, um, the engine covers. I do recommend a raft for those as well. So you get good plate adhesion, but be careful with a raft on like this piece and this piece, cause it could rip these thinner pieces off your model and not peel off the raft. So be careful when you're printing that, um, especially with supports like that. I think I did this as a port 85. So it's kind of one of those things you can move forward with it. Um, I did nothing with experimental on this. You can slice it. Total amount of print time for this one for me was about, I think it was a couple days. Um, but I also had two or three printers churning out parts um, all through the same time. And I did have some failures in the process, especially this headpiece um, failed a couple times as I printed. So. Um, I think actually they failed because of printer miscalibration, but you know, that stuff happens even to me. So tell you what, 
Uh, let's hop over to the actual time lapses and let's take a look at the building of this Omega Earth Destroyer. See you guys at the end. So guys, we're about halfway through here and I want to take a moment to add, and add that, hey, I opened up a Patreon page. If you want to support this channel, help with getting filament and having help choices that you see of what's printed on this model, come join me over on Patreon. There's four different levels. Each level has a total different set of benefits to it. I hope you, come, you guys come over, join us, become a supporter of the channel and enjoy that benefit. Also, if you're thinking about 3D printing, over on mastermind.com, I have created a intro course for 3D printing with filament printers. So if you guys are interested and curious about that, that link is also down in the description. Head on over and take a look at the course. So let's get on to the next question. <clears throat> All right, guys, and that's the print. So a lot of parts, a lot of gluing. Unfortunately, I don't have an assembly video for this one. Um, this one's been assembled for a while, and I just now set up to where I can start doing that process as I start gluing things together. So if you're curious about that, go check out the Imperial Pistol, um, where you can actually see me assemble it on after the time lapse. So when I did print these on my resin printer, resin is coming to the channel, guys. It's kind of one of those things. I'm still kind of learning it, so I want to make sure I tell you the right things before it goes to it. But I printed this little Star Fury resin. He's still a little bit too big, but just kind of one of those things. I'm going to scale the model down to make it look like that there's Star Furies flying with their mothership um, when I finish this model. So kind of one of those things. If you're curious about Star Fury, go check that video out. Um, it was a really neat build. Uh, really cool one. I really enjoyed it because uh, Star Fury, when it comes to space fighters, this thing's kind of got the coolest design I think I've seen around. Um, in, as in kind of a realistic design on thrusters and different ways it would fly around. So, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go out there, get printing, and thank you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.